Hey, Eagle Run 23 here. Someone asked me in the comments and I, I answered them, but I figured that the best thing to do here would be to show you what is the difference between an LR308 AR10 versus an AR15 parts group. A lot of people ask questions about what is the uh, compatibility between the two. So this kit right here came all together and this is a complete lower parts kit that comes with a fire control group and your standard A2 grip. We all know the grip is the same and we also know that the fire control group is the same between the two platforms. Now this kit was a bit of an upgrade. It came with a reduced spring power kit and then these two bags actually contain what is a lower parts kit. This is the complete part which includes grip and trigger. This is actually the kit and you can see it reduced in this one because this is a specific LR308 group. So I'm gonna open these two up and I'm gonna show you exactly what is the same and exactly what is the difference between the two kits. Okay, so I have them laid out here where we can kind of go through and compare them. Let's go through the things that are exactly the same first because that's going to be most everything. The magazine catch and the magazine buttons are both the same and they run off of the spring, oh, big spring. They run off of the big fat spring. Those are all the same. Next, we have our uh, detent for your buffer tube. Uh, they run the same size part and the same spring. And next is kind of a part of the fire control group. Here's your safety selector. Uh, and they also have a detent and a spring, the bigger spring here. The one that's like that, the one that's a little bit bigger around. The two skinny springs are also the same and they come with two detents and they're the same between the two. And then we get over to the parts that are a little bit different. Now the internals to your bolt catch are the same. They take the same spring, the same plunger, and this one has a threaded style whereas this one has a pen. That just depends on if your lower is set up for a threaded style one. You can see this one here is, uh, it's, it's got threads on the end, which the uh, normal pen that most of us are familiar with is just a roll pen. And those are all the same. Now the differences start right here. You have the slightly, the bolt catch is a little bit different. Uh, sometimes you have to make a couple modifications to your upper receiver as well, depending on the bolt catch you're running. I prefer, uh oh, I prefer to grab these strike industry ones. I like the way that they're laid out. I feel like they, um, I feel like they work a little bit better. I have seen some people who are running AR 15 in the 308. Uh, but they are just a little bit different and it kind of just depends on the style in which that they were modeled after a lot of times the main differences between uh because they're kind of the same size in fact i'm sure they are the same size uh this one the shelf is just a little bit uh deeper um between the two but uh, it's just kind of the style of them you could run an ar-15 on a 308 but um but they are technically a little bit different and then as we move down here the main difference Almost everything else is going to work except the pens. The pen for the 308, they're just a little bit bigger. They're just slightly bigger around. I don't know if you can see. They're just a little bit thicker and they're a little bit longer. That's comparing front pen to front pen. Comparing the two front pens, you can see the 308 on the right is just a little bit bigger. And then the rear pens are quite a bit different in size. So if you have a AR-15 parts kit, you're pretty much good to go. You could just go buy yourself a bolt catch and um, a set of pins. Like here are some uh, 308 takedown pins for uh, AR-10. So if you just grabbed this kit, like this kit here from Strike Industries, and then you had an AR-15, you'd pretty much be good to go. You may have to make some modifications to your bolt catch. I've, I've seen it where it works perfect and I've seen them where you gotta do a little shaving on the inside of your uh, receiver or mo you can modify the part. Um, but mostly it comes down to the pins. So that's been my experience. 
Um, you guys let me know what you uh, have experienced in the comments there. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.